All right, let's start. Hello YouTube, my name is Satya. I welcome you all to this video. In this video, I am going to show you the 24 hours of simulation of a smart grid. So this smart grid will have uh, solar photovoltaic panels, wind supply, diesel and utility grid. Also one battery unit. The main objective of this project is to compare the cost and do the cost analysis so that we can optimize our power sources in order to minimize the cost to the customer. Over here we have the control panel. In this we have several functions over here. One is open the simulation. You can just click it. It will open the simulation. Then you can run the simulation from this push button over here. Once the simulation is completed, you can do the power analysis. All right, so the plots are here. So first is the power graph. Here we have plotted the watts uh, consumed from the different sources. In the blue line, we have the utility grid. In the red, we have the battery, then solar, then diesel. You can see here the solar is not supplying any power during the night time. It is supplying the power because as it is generating the power in the daytime only. And one more interesting fact you can see over here, the battery is getting charged in this section over here when the solar photovoltaic power is at peak and we have extra watt available with us. Then we, we are also supplying this power during this period to the grid. This is in the negative region. You can see here the blue line is in the negative. That means we are supplying power back to the grid. Coming to some power data graphs over here, this is the power consumption taken by the battery and you can see over here it was discharging up to certain point of time, it gets, it, it gets start charging again when the solar for, when we have the excess power. You can see the, you can confirm this with the SOC curve over here, initially the battery was charged up to 80%, it came down up to around 65, then again charged up to 70%. Then again it starts getting discharged. Diesel power, because diesel is costliest here, but it is a bit less than the per unit supply from the grid at a time when it is a peak time. Okay, So that is why we are taking some power from the diesel generator as well. Finally, this is the load demand for 24 hours. Let's uh, do this cost analysis over here. Alright. So, First, we will see the power consumptions from various sources. Solar number of the units supplied by the solar photovoltaic panel is 1506, but provided by the battery is 157. By the utility grid, we have taken around 1260 units and total consumption 3218. And we have some, we have supplied some power with the diesel as well, that is 295. Then accordingly the cost of each un, uh, each sources available here is mentioned here. Now the entire duration of 24 hours is divided into three parts. One is off peak, another one is peak time and finally the day time. During the off peak time we have 13 rupees per unit. During the day time the grid utility, utility grid supply is available at 25 rupees per unit and it is highest when grid is at peak time that is, is 54 rupees per unit so that is why we are using some amount of diesel because diesel is a bit cheaper you can see 45 rupees per unit and if you change these values it will the program will itself adapt it and it will optimize and select the source in such a way that the final cost of uh, the various combinations of the power sources is minimum minimum to the customer so this is the graphical representation of the cost data. This is the load demand data. Here we have the grid cost. This is the peak time cost, day time cost and off peak time cost. You can see here, although the peak time is very less, but the cost is very high during this time because all the sources which are available to us are very costly at the time. This is the curve of the irradiance and as well as the power provided by the solar photovoltaic panel. Here the solar photovoltaic panel, this is the curve of the irradiance. Then we have some solar, the dashed line represents the solar photovoltaic power generated by the panels. Okay. Now we'll do the cost comparison and that will be the last thing for it.
all right so the cost comparison curve is available here so this is the comparison of the cost as the name suggests from the different sources you can see this graph is almost similar to this one over here the purple one is the total demand this is the total cost during the entire day and initially you can see it is almost following so the blue line blue line is almost following the total demand because most of the power we are taking from the grid only at this time providing uh, we are taking some supply from the battery okay so that is why a little gap is there now during the daytime because the solar photovoltaic panel is available now now we stop stop taking supply from the grid we are taking only the amount which is needed so at any given point of time what will happen the sum of the utility grid the sum of power supplied by solar photovoltaic panel and battery this will be equal to the uh, demand at that particular instant all right so this is the cost comparison you can change also you can change these values over here then you will get the different results for all this data so thanks a lot for watching the video please do subscribe my channel for more such videos thank you once again